Where's it going, Chris? Look, uh, into us off the right. Into off the right, okay. Oh. Very short part three, I think it's like 80 yards, 100 yards at the most. Um, what does it say, it says 115, but it's cut on the front of the green there. A big ravine kind of in the front there as well. Not very, you don't want to hit it down there, but I don't think we plan on it. Uh, I think it's, I guess I'll go. I'll show you the line, Chris. Go ahead, show it to me. I'm just going to hit a nice 50. So that wind kind of is right into us. Ooh. You dig around in my pockets here for a second. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's the tee I needed. Pocket dig, we're good. Oh, not too bad right there. Excellent. Let's go. All right, new house. Chris's ball. Inbounds, too, because here's the white stake. There's the white stake, so he is inbounds. Oh, here comes that wind. Going just there. That was so close to being really good. Oh, just left it there. You needed just a tiny bit further. Lex is in the cart rocking out with his little bucket hat on. All right, so Chris sadly stopped just there. I'm just here. Big old pitch mark right there. Whoa, spun it back. Towards the hole though, which is a positive. All right, let's see if Chris can ship this bad boy in. Good chip, it checked up a little bit. That's, that's kind of unlucky. <laughs> Throw the putter cover out of the way. Fix this pitch mark. Looks good. Oh, it straightened up at the very end. <laughs> oh, it was like coming like this, and it was like Never missing. Never missing. Woo, good touch. Oh, see, that's what we like to see on these greens. Okay, here we go. Hole number eight, second to last hole. Uh, it ends par five. So uh, eight is a par five, nine is a par five. This one, dog legs hard to the right. And I don't know if you can see the pin, but it's way back there. So yeah, it is a very short par five. Well, it's not short, but it's reachable. Yeah. As long as we hit good drives, we should get there uh, into. I've had, an eagle, to I've had an eagle putt be before uh, here, Chris. Have you? <laughs> I have not. You will this time. I'm feeling it. I like how you're filming the ground, though. That's nice. <laughs> kind of curved this. Ooh. The tripod's a little janky. The wind's affecting the tripod even. Oh, that is some heavy wind now. It is getting harder and harder. It's just in two off the left. So usually I aim at those red trees and just kind of let it cut across. So let's see if I can do the same thing now. That's 
it's definitely coming. coming. Out of the face. And the wind's gonna kill that one. Yeah, that's barely right there. That was a moonshot. You shot that one straight up there. Yeah, literally straight up into this wind. So it just, it was gonna go like 250 and it went like 200. Oops, that's Just not what I wanted to do. <laughs> that is not at all what I wanted to do. Let's see if Chris's low burner can, <laughs> can get in there a little bit better than that. I just got done saying that this is like a shortish par five, right? Like, oh, we should be able to get this one. Nope, not me. That is a great drive. Oh, scaring birds away. Uh, must be a sign. Yeah, in the shade. Oh, good shot. Let's go get them. There I am. Actually, it, does, it is propped up. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to hit three wood. Whoa. Thanks for the suggestion, Chris. I'm getting risky. I like it. Yeah. I might as well. After that terrible drive, I need something. Something good to happen. Kind of teed up a little bit. Right at the pit. See what happens. Yes. It's leaking a little right. Oh, that's good. That's good. It kicked left too. Did yeah. you see that? Yeah, you were up there. Yeah. Great shot. That's what I needed. Little confidence boost. Where you at, Chris? Um, oh, you're way up there, miles up. There's Chris, way down there. Oh, let's go get it. And he is here just going. You don't have much of a shot at the pin because of that rough, <laughs> or that, like, the weeds and stuff over there, but, yeah, the pin's, like, there. And I'm just there, so. A good shot is needed, Chris. It's sitting up, though. It's not fairway, but you should be able to, to get that one down there. What are you going to hit? Iron? Or are you going to hit one of your, like your, what do you have, a three wood or a five? Or a... I have a three wood and a five hybrid. My hybrid is, uh, it's so I, I, I top the hybrid a lot, so That's with true. the hybrid, it'll roll. Are you feeling the iron, the six iron, just lay it up and then chip it off? So. Okay. I think so. Okay, I like so. that. It's a good safe play. It's a good safe play. So he's there. Laying one, hitting two. Send one down the middle and we'll be in good shape. That wind just picked up very hard. Oh. <laughs> That just went from like a 10 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour gust to like 30, 40 miles an hour just then, guys. All right, stop. That is struck over the bunker, just kind of down there. Probably wanted a little bit more, but that's not bad. Yeah, a little more would have been better. That's okay. <laughs> Let's get up there. All right. <laughs> There's a crisp ball right there. There's the pin. And there's my ball down there. I don't know if you can see it. I wish this camera zoomed. I might have to switch back over to my other camera. It zooms. Very windy stuff. But he's just gonna, I imagine he's gonna go like right around here. Oh no. We don't want to see the tops coming out now. Yo, we're on eight. <laughs> I tried to do way too much with that. Yes, you did. It was all good. You did it. All right, so we're back. Chris's ball is here. Pin is just on the other side of those reeds. 
and my second shot is just over there. Hit a really good three wood. Uh, let's see what Chris is gonna do here. He's got a decent look at it. You just gotta send it over those reeds. Then get up. That's on. Now sit over the back. Oh, <laughs> then for the win. Oh, it, it was on the green at one point at least. There's my ball. There's the flag. Here's an eagle chip. What do you say, Chris? No glove. No glove. Right into the teeth of the wind, but I'm just gonna touchy feely. I gotta throw it just over that, just over that rough, kind of on the edge of the fringe, and let it roll through. Very touchy feely. Come on, get a nice crispy, nice crispy chip. It looks good. Fringe. Oh, and it just died. Oh, it didn't roll. Man, if that had rolled. How did that die? It, I, that was, oh, that was it must be. It, I must have needed to hit the green. I didn't think I. I thought the green was going to roll through. Every other green's been passed. What'd you, hit, what'd you hit that with? Uh, 50. Just kind of chucked it over. All right, let's get up there. All right, we're on the back side of this green now. Um, couldn't see it from the fairway, but there's a bunker back there. So Chris just kind of rolled it on through into that bunker. If you even want to call that a bunker, it's more just a gravel pit. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are impossible to hit out of. Uh, and then that is me just on the front side right around there because uh, apparently that's wet because it just stopped. and did not come rolling through like it should have. Uh, let's see. Chris is going to get this one close. Let's get bird's eye view. It is out. It is just on the edge. But it is out of the sand. Not the shot he wanted though. That's all right. Have another go. It's very tough. This is not any easier because now you're standing like half in, half out. How did you get it to stop there? First off, that's impressive. And now this is not, <laughs> honestly. Hey, I seen Hideki do it. <laughs> you wanted to, to just roll back down and then you'd be easier than trying to hit there. So still he's trying to go there. Plenty of green to work with, but now it's just the stance is going to be awkward as hell. That's a pretty good shot from there. It's going to hit my ball. Just about. That's friendly right there. Wowzers. Let's walk over here and see this. That's about the that's about the hardest they could cut this pin though. Back there. And here we are. That's a ve that's very friendly. <laughs> Just wanted to be next to you. Yup. Yeah. Alright. Oh he just walked by it. He's not even gonna mark that. <laughs> you landed in my pitch mark, dude. <laughs> Can you move that marker to the right? Like, just move your, like, use your putter. Like, so it's there, and just do it like that. And then we come back down. But, but that mark, actually, right there, that's... Okay. It's going uphill, and then it's kind of breaking over that way. I think I just see it breaking to the right, just this bit. All right, come on, birdie. Absolutely wrong. 
I don't even know what I did there. No, I just total miss hit, dude. I just was like push it eight miles to the right. That's terrible, but it's not even a good line for you, like a good read. Alright, let's see if Chris can get a better putt than that. I'm pretty sure he can because that was absolutely atrocious. Putting challenge. Yeah. Alright guys, make sure you leave a like on this video to give Chris enough power, enough energy to drain this putt. Like the video, leave a comment. Is Chris going to make this putt? Let's see. Oh, get up. Oh. That is such a good putt, too. Just... That is a way better putt than mine, too. Give you that one. Pick it up, sir. All right. And now I am looking at that putt for par. Oh, joy. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, get in there. Oh, that's stuck in the lip for a second. This went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Win. Thank you, Win. That's a par. Thank you, thank you. Par in these bad boys. Here. All right, we're going on to nine now. Uh, the hardest hole on the course. Let's go. Made it, Chris. Hole nine. You're here. Yes, another uh, par five. Uh, like I said, the, back, the front nine here uh, in Friendly uh, is, it finishes par five, par five, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, this one is the uh, stroke index one. That means it is the hardest hole on the course. It is straight down and then it is like a 90 degree dog leg to the right uh, down there. So this, <laughs> yeah, and pretty much anything right is OB. And then once you get closer to the flag, it's still like there's like little caverns and spots to lose your ball. And I'm more. actually surprised that you're going with a driver. Usually this is your 377. I know I usually hit three wood on this one, but now that I'm kind of straightened out the driver and the wind seemed to stop, just I'm just going to aim down the left side. And if I hit it straight, I'll be left, which is good. You want to be left on this hole. And if I just happen to cut it out a little bit, I won't be too bad. But yeah, I'm just feeling like driver needs to come out right now. We'll see if that's good or bad here in about 10 seconds. <laughs> I hit my tee on the back swing. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, you came back and hit you too. I'll never do that again. Hopefully the camera caught that. Guy, literally after I swung, the T hit the driver here. <laughs> that, was pretty, that was cool. And I, I'm, I saw it hit the edge of the dirt down there on the left, but it went through. I think. Yeah, I didn't see it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's safe, unless I just caught a really nasty bounce to the left. Um, but that should be good. Be a good spot. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what Chris can do. That is a rip. Just down the left edge, kick right. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully you got a nice bounce right, but I did not see it. Let's get down there and see what it did. All right, so we found Chris's. Sadly, he was kind of coming along the path here and it must have kicked out from like here and it kicked just straight left. So he's sitting in the dirt and in the rocks and really, that is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, I mean, depending on what you're hitting, you could go over those trees, or if you're hitting something like a five or a six, it's just gonna kind of punch down under them. I bet you he's gonna hit a six though. Oh, just a tiny bit toppy. Get, oh no, now that tree is literally gonna be in your swing. 
<laughs> oh god, let's see what he does. Okay, so <laughs> we, came, we came up to Chris's again. Sadly, this is not where he wants to be. Although it looked like you, that tree was gonna really give you some trouble, but it actually doesn't look like it will. Yeah. It shouldn't be too bad because you're not trying to take a real full swing at it. You know what I mean? Just wanna kind of pop it forward out into the fairway. Oof, you did hit that tree. <laughs> I got it where I wanted it to go. You hit a great shot, <laughs> but you also nipped that tree. I thought that iron was going to break in half. That's what that tree gets. Woo, good shot. Okay, well, sadly, uh, <laughs> I'm in the same predicament. I'm not as close to that tree, so it shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't hit it. But I hit, I hit up here, dude, so I must have hit one of these and came backwards even. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of punch a... A six iron low under these branches and just kind of out at that red fence. I think that's kind of the play. So just like a nice, nice punchy, punchy shot. I'm going to try to pick this clean too. I don't want to mess up the club face. Didn't see where it went. I know it went through those uh, branches though. I definitely didn't yeah, drop, got, so it went up somewhere. It got caught in it. I didn't get it low enough. Damn, we'll go find out. Picked it clean though. <laughs> Picked it clean. All right, let's go hunt them down. Okay, so I found mine. Sadly, those are the trees I came out of, so I kind of nipped them and it just stopped me in the rough right here. Uh, but, and I still probably got about 200 out. So I'm gonna kind of go at, over there. I don't know if you can see the brown garage door and like the white truck. I'm gonna kind of maybe cut it a little bit over there. It's the line, maybe like a... What do I hit? Six? Yeah, I'll hit a six. I feel like that's gonna be a flyer. So I'm gonna aim at that garage. Okay, though, that's a good layup. Hey, you got three shots the pin there. Yeah. All right, there's Chris. There's Chris's ball. The pin is in between these two trees right here. So I don't know if he's going for it or if he's going to kind of lay up over on the side right there. I'm going to go for a layup. You're going to lay it up? Okay. I'm going to set the camera down right there. There we go. Don't disappear. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> Might have just topped right it down the into the sand. Oh, let's see. So unfortunately, he came rolling all the way down to this terrible lie. Down slope, balls below his feet, big weed behind his shot. So he's just gonna take a pitching wedge and try to just, I wouldn't even go for the green. I'd go kind of at that white truck. Just try to get it back um, in play, really. Because that is a, a incredibly difficult shot. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be hard right there. And <laughs> not much you can do there. Now you're at least on an upslope. <laughs> so the ball is above your feet. Now you should be able to just pitch that out over that tree. There he goes. Good old Chris. Three months of playing golf. He's got the bug. He's not giving up. He's gonna chip this one real close. Oh, get up. Oh, it's it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's bouncing around the road. He's he's such a nice guy though. Look at it. Just. 
Just a nice guy. Very calm. Very calm, just cool, collected. Good friend. Just, just pounded on that one. Oh, don't like to see it, but. I know where it went though. You're not gonna like where it is, but I know. <laughs> All right, so my ball is here. The pin is there. I need to get my ball to where that pin is. <laughs> And this is the green that's like covered in dogwood. It's like putting on cotton. <laughs> Alright, get up there, ball. Get nice and close. Caught that fast. And it kicked right. Ah, uh. oh, heavy shot and it kicks right. Not very good. Let's go find yours, Chris. Yeah, not as bad as I thought. No! Here we go. Not a bad shot. Yeah, I thought you were going to be on this root too when you came over and I saw this big old root, but you're good. Just a little chippy chippy. There's the flag there. Somebody's on a little motorcycle. That's fun. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Oh! I hit the root. Right yeah, you did hit the root. Yeah, just short of the green. Dang! All right, let's go find mine. Okay, let's go find this bad boy. It kicked right, so I've got to be here somewhere. be fun. Oh no. Can you guys see that? So I can move this. Oh no I can't. Jesus Christ. Oh man. I know Actually I have the wrong club but I see a shot. Hold on. Bear with me. Get me walking back to the start. Okay, this is going to be the impossible shot chip of the day. I'm literally going to come like straight down on the ball like that and just try to pop it, pop it out without hitting that is the goal. So I literally kind of have to like, it's literally like a... Oh, that's so tough. This is gonna be, if I get, if I get this on the green, literally, this is gonna be like the best shot I've ever hit in my life. That too? Okay, ready? <laughs> Set, and I got that guy back, you know? All right, come on. Just like that. Oh, you rolled it out too? Stop. That is the best shot I've ever hit in my life. Right on the green. That, that's just, I mean, just past pin high. Oh, I don't know how you did that one. I don't either. I could put a hundred balls there. I wouldn't do the same thing. Oh, here, here. Let's get you. Get you chipping on. Oh, didn't bring any of the clubs. Oh no, rookie, rookie move. <laughs> Just get your putter, dude. Put that. Just drain that like 60 foot putt. Nice little bump and run, dude. You took notes after uh, <laughs> after that one. <laughs> I wanted to hit that that last slope and kind of go over. That's pretty good though, right there, dude. 
All right. Oh, what a shot. Oh, I think that is to you. So I'm gonna walk over here and film you draining this one. Look at that. There's my ball. There's the hole from behind a rock over there. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's see if Chris can, let's see if Chris can drain this putt. I don't know what it's for, but it doesn't matter. That is the wrong side, it looks like. Oh, down to here. A little hard, not terrible though. Not terrible, Get, go ahead and make that. <laughs> Tap that one in, Chris. Tap that one in. Oh! oh no. Give me that one. What a round. Uh, probably not our best ever, not but best. Uh, some pretty miraculous shots. Some miracle shots, even. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's nine holes uh, out here in Fernley. Fernley Golf, the golf club at Fernley. Uh, we'll probably show you the back nine uh, here in just a couple days, I imagine. Yep, absolutely. Woo! Guys, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of Chris. Uh, leave some comments down below if you want to see more of Chris uh, in the videos. Or if you just want me to leave him at home, let me know. <laughs> and you will see me get better. Woo! I think that's the best part, dude, is we're seeing your your golf journey unfold. I mean, think about it, dude. Ten years from now, you're going to watch this video. Yeah. And you're going to be like, oh, my God. Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to have come so far. You've already come so far just in two months, dude. Three months, bro. So good stuff. We will be back shortly. Love you guys. Take care.